Hi, it's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Welcome back for race six, the Durban Golden Horseshoe, grade two over 1400 meters. And this is also for two year olds and race six goes at 10 past three. We're gonna show you three reruns. Number seven, Grinkov, when winning at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Cousin Casey, when winning the gate crash stakes at Hollywood Bet's Gravel. And number 13, Profit, when uh, finishing seventh at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. It'll be in the, in the gold medallion. Watch how he runs in that race. Councils down the inside and towards the inside of that one, color of money, but Grinkoff past the 200 meter marker. And it's Grinkoff, good councils trying to throw out a challenge, but Grinkoff's got it all safe. And Grinkoff comes home to win by three. Second, good council, national star third, and Pominion ran fourth. Square, Captain Casey's on the inside, ready or not. Aztec Warrior Extreme outside. Wiccan Warrior's running on to the inside. Captain Casey's coming at Cousin Casey inside the last 150, but Cousin Casey still has a length to spare. Superior Force, but Cousin Casey has the eyes on the prize to win it. Superior Force sick, and then came Union Square and Captain Casey. Behind that one there is Captain Bombshell. Coming out of the 200, Thunderstruck and Karanga Tang. On the outside of that one is Imposing Gladiatorian and further back Ocean Time, but Thunderstruck. And it's Thunderstruck over the last 100 metres going clear. And Thunderstruck will win it by about three to four. Second place, now I've got you then, Ocean Time, maybe... Well, in that last rerun, you saw Prophet running in the gold medallion. He was a firm favourite to win that day. He was drawn on the inside. He got shuffled back. And as we saw there, drifted all the way to the centre. Sheldon, talk us through that race. Well, just before that footage there, if you watch the entire race, you'll see they're all concertina to over towards the inside. And at about the 600, you could see that Craig Zaki was in trouble. He was in a pocket. He had nowhere to go. He had to go right across the course. It cost him many, many lengths. The fact that he was beaten five lengths, he should have been right up there with Thunderstruck. He unfortunately has drawn at 13, so they'll have to ride him for a bit of luck, but I believe he's gonna be a huge player. Well, before we get into the race in further detail, let's hear from Paul Peter, Peter Musket, Sean Terry, and Justin Snaith. I think Miss School is better than our last run. I think a 1200 now is going to be on the shop side for her. She didn't enjoy Mallettsburg. Uh, she's got a good draw. It's against the Colts, but she's beaten them in the nursery. She's also got a big chance. Yes, uh, he's, a, he's a quality horse in the making. A uh, very laid back Colt. Um, his run in the gold, gold medallion was, was outstanding. Uh, he's always given every indication that he's going to go further. So from, the, from an ideal gate, once again, we're taking on very stiff opposition. Um, but his work is solid in the lead up. He looks outstanding in himself. He actually, even in the month between the races, he looks like he's strengthened and matured. So I'm very happy with him heading in. And uh, um, we're looking forward to a very good performance from him. Yeah, lovely debut. Yeah, not, the, not a straightforward horse, but I do feel once again that he's a horse that will be building towards Gold Cup Day. Um, is a toughish kind of race open it's not, it's not no stars but I think um, if you could just give a good account of himself and run a place I'd be very happy yeah uh, with respect to the the field it wasn't the strongest of races but uh, he too went in underdone for that race and we expected him to be very green but uh, he showed a very good tactical speed out the gate he did everything right in the run and as you say, he won very impressively. Uh, he too has tightened up nicely, looks outstanding himself. His work is very encouraging in the lead up. And uh, we have a young man called Striker Stratum aboard him. And we all saw what he did yesterday. So uh, I'm quietly confident that he's gonna run, run to the best of his ability anyway. Um, 
hard to hard to put him in the pecking order, uh, but I do think he's a very he's a quality horse in the making. Peter Musket, uh, Sean Terry, and Peter Musket's other runner, Ocean Time, of course, is carded to be ridden by Rachel Venneker, but the sad news, obviously, is that Rachel will not be riding on Saturday following her horrific fall at Hollywood Vets Gravel on Monday. Well, short and sweet from me, guys. Sean Terry said it, no established stars, but stars will no doubt come out of this race. But for me, this is one of two races in the pick six where I'm going field, the other being the post merchants. Uh, so cousin Casey on the back of his gate crashes stakes victory is my hesitant first choice, uh, but I'm going the field. How do you see it, Rail? In terms of a pick six, Graham, this, got, this has to be a field race. I think you, a number of runners could turn around a form with the could turn around form on one another and if you're looking for a real upset result you could possibly get it in this race this it does look to be a race where you could possibly get a 33 to one shot or 50 to one shot coming through to win and uh number seven Grinkoff, i think he's a he's a lively run in this contest he won last time out beating good counsel who has come out to win gavin Lirina retains a ride and Grinkoff, he looks to be an improving sort two runs in kzn for two wins he has won at hollywood best gravel so he has experienced the turn at the surface, at this venue, so I think Grinkoff will be right there. Ocean Time, he does look to be the value in the race now with Callan Murray taking over from Rachel Vinica, and he's neatly drawn as well, and he ran a cracking third in the gold medallion, so I think Ocean Time must be a runner. Number 14, Bright Green, he was super impressive on debut, and I want to get Sheldon's thoughts on that victory because he came from a long way back to beat Osk by the, from the Paul Peter Yard in the form of United Prince. Yes, I remember calling that race and they were expecting him to do his best work late on and that last 300 metres when he switched in, absolutely magnificent. A horse with a lot of scope, I think in the long run he's going to be a proper horse. Will this race come too early for him? Only time is going to tell. You mentioned we're looking for a roughie at around 33 to 1. It's the countdown to the Hollywood Bets, Durban, July, and I'm going with number six, countdown as a roughie. Glenn Cotson's got no less than four runners here. So the connections, they're all going to be in the parade ring there. And let's hope Countdown can do the business. Ocean Time, a big runner, cousin Casey, and of course, Profit. Well, what is interesting is that Glenn Cotson, as you've heard, is well represented. So my first choice is a Glenn Cotson runner, cousin Casey. Sheldon's first choice is a Glenn Cotson runner, Countdown. And Rahil's first choice is a Glenn Cotson trained runner, Grinkov. But either no couplings, but let's get into my Lala selections. Race six, as you heard, I'm going hesitantly in what I think is a field race with number 11, Cousin Casey, ahead of number 10, former gear. 14, Bright Green, the draw worries me, and four, Golden Prospect. But there are so many with chances. Box the swing is 4, 10, 11, and 14. But as far as the jackpots and the pick six is a concern for me, it's a field race. Just like you, Graham, the swingers are the play for me as well. And uh, I've tipped number seven, uh, Grinkoff, as a head of number 14, uh, Bright Green, followed by number three, Ocean Time, who I think is tremendous value at 16 to one, and then number one, Imposing. So we're looking for a Glenn Cotton show in race number six, the Golden Horseshoe. And Sheldon, count on your top choice at around 33 to one. Yes, Rahil, thanks very much. We'll take a look at my selections there. And certainly number six, Countdown, 13, Profit, seven, Green Cobb, and number five, Argo Alley. Places on number six, Countdown. I think that could be the route to go, and that's going to be my each way selection. So, Graham, we've all gone with the Cotson team. Well, we're certainly in the Cotson camp, but it's a tough race. Many, many with chances. So go wide. That's a wrap for race six. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. <laughs> <laughs>